Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio and Merry Monday. I'm excited that you're here with me today. Um, I don't think today I'm going to be doing any Rachel projects. I think it's just strictly going to be Merry Monday inspired by a number of lovely other, other lovely uh, digital artists or video artists. So we're going to do a few. I have a pile of different um, ephemera we can use for our Christmas journals um, or whatever you want to use them for. So I think they're all pretty easy. There's one that's a little more complicated. I may or may not get to it. That's this one right here. Although I'd like to keep the bunnies out, but I think this one might be my Wednesday project. It is a Merry Monday, but um, Look, I've done all the prep work, but it's kind of complicated. I don't know. Should we do the complicated or the easy today? <laughs> it's Monday. I'm not sure my brain, well, technically it's Sunday for me, but Monday for you. And I'm not sure my brain is capable of doing this one. It's a little complicated. So maybe we'll just do some simple Merry Monday makes of ephemera, uh, things that are pretty easy to do. Um, oh, I lied. One of them is a Rachel Roxy Creations weekly challenge. So, well, this was one of hers too, I guess. I just, I guess I got confused. This one's not, but these are, it's just that this one is not. So I, I knew that. So before I get going, actually, I'd like to do a little housekeeping here. Um, I'm going to move this. Ooh, where am I going to put it? Oh, there's no room off to the side. I want to share a, a few um, of Jolene at a Jewel Design, her new digitals. I mean, they're not new. They're new, but I mean, she didn't just put them out. But for those of you who are Christmas or but would rather be blue or in winter. This is a good winter kit. It's called Snowy Winter Volume 3. She has Volume 1 and 2, which I'm not going to show you today, but they are on her site. Um, and I thought I would share a number of the kits because they're just gorgeous. Of course, I would love to play with them right now, but I just can't. I think it's going to probably be November before I get to these, but I thought I'd share, share them with you now. <laughs> Gosh, get that out of your mouth. Is this not gorgeous right now? I'm gonna check my camera to make sure. Yep, I'm in frame. And before we get going, how are all of you? Hello, welcome to my studio. I hope everybody's good. Hope you're all safe and healthy and well, and there's no issues where you're at. Not too crazy hot or cold, and hopefully no fires or anything, so or smoke. So anyway, before that, uh, with that, let's say. Snowy Winter, the jewel design. All right, so here we go. It's a beautiful kit. It's number three. Uh, and all of her kits are designed to go together. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I would love to play with this. I have some ideas. But I have so, oh, I love this little owl and the bunny and the fox and the deer. Oh, I am. Um, I just love this. I love this little snowman. He's in a couple of her others. And this owl is new. Isn't he adorable? Oh my gosh, I love him. His eyes are gorgeous. It says snowflakes are winter butterflies. You have a writing page. I could go on the back of each of those. Got snowflakes. This one would be lovely on the back as well. Got all your little critters. You got your plaid for fall or winter, right? Oh, looks like my, my um, printer's being naughty. Ugh, don't you love it? Now, um, let me pull a couple things here ugh, that are not part of that kit, but go with it, but not part of it, right? Okay, so now these are, this is the ephemera. Cute. Got an envelope, and you got all kinds of goodies to put on the envelope if you want to decorate it or decorate any of the other pieces. We have lovely journal cards that go both ways. You just cut them out, fold them in half, glue them together, and you got your front and back for your journal card. This is fun. This is one Jolene and I created together. This is adorable. These are pockets and journal cards. This is a super fun one. It shows you how to do it there. It's an uptech or creates that. Uh, again, this is one Jolene and I created together. And then, um, not the page, but the design, you know, the, the, uh, it's this, you have a pocket in the front and then you have a pocket here and then you have a tuck there. Basically it's, and then, you know, if you want to put a pocket on the back, so it's, it's basically that, but already pre-printed for you. 
I did that one by cutting and pasting a whole lot. <laughs> so this one, she's got it all set for you. See, all set, same thing. These are all the bits for it. Or use them separately, cut them out and use them how you like. We got an envelope and we got some pockets. Got a belly band. So all these fabulous, these right here, you cut them out and you can wrap them in the sleeve. See, so very cool. Love that she does that. So you can make a stack, give them as, to a friend as a gift. And then you've got some little mini journal cards. Now, um, to go along with the kit, but is not sold with the kit, there are a set of December daily numbers for you to use or in your happy planner. So we have these, so if you wanna do a December daily or happy planner with those. These, you just use your punch. This is a one and a half circle punch, and this is a one inch circle punch, which you've seen me do that before. She has a beautiful set of blue Christmas words to go with it, or winter words. So you have both, Christmas, ornament, vintage, spirits, holly, seasonal, greetings, presents, wishes, Santa, jolly, on and on, okay? So you have those. And then you have your actual winter words, which these go beautifully with that. So each of these are sold separately if you wanna get them and to go with the other kits that you may already have. So this is her snowy winter and beautiful, beautiful kit. I cannot wait to work with it. Probably in November, I'm thinking I'll get to do something with it. So I can't show you anything till then, but I have a cool idea. So I think I'm gonna do some winter ladies with this kit. Um, yeah, you would think you couldn't, but you can. So I highly recommend you go to a Jewel Design. She, like I said, she's got two other kits with ephemera to go with it. So you might wanna go have a look at those to see if there's something you like in that. I'm gonna, oh, I don't have to put that on the floor. She has her own cubby behind me and I put it in the cubby. There we go, put away, no worries. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I did cut a bunch of the winter words and put them with my Christmas words so I would have them when I want them, right? Okay, so we started our day off with that. So now let's get to some creativity here. Now I have a bunch of different projects that um, I've been kind of playing, wanting to play with. And so I thought we could do them Christmas since, you know, I'm not done with my Christmas yet. Not quite. Uh, Rachel did some basic beginner, um, what do you want to call them? Basic beginner glassing bags. And she used fabrics and lace. Now you can use paper, whatever you want. I'm looking for a tag to put in there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not quite, I'm ready, but I'm not ready. <laughs> so once the, you just cut some little squares, which we'll do some for Christmas, and then you pop your tag in there, you can still see the tag beautifully. So the tag itself becomes the decoration. So it's just a little bit of something over here. Now you could add a flower, you could add um, a, a bow, whatever you wanna add over here, really easy to do. Like if I wanted to decorate this up, let me see if I have a bow I could grab real easy or a rose or something, I would think I would. I have so much stuff next to me, but what I'm worried about is knocking everything on the floor. You know how that goes, I don't wanna do that. Oh, I see some bows. Okay, let me grab a bow. I mean, you could just like add something like that to it to deck it up if you want. I'm going to wait to see where this goes. It's going to go in one of my journals, probably my fall journal. But as you can see, you just put the tag in there and that really decorates up your bag, right? So I thought we could do just a couple of Christmas bags. I have some... Oop, 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 sorry. Oh, I've got stuff going everywhere. Let me move that over there. Um... We could just do a couple on Christmas bags. I'm going to use a little bit bigger bag for my Christmas ones. I have some more narrow ones for my narrow journals, like my autumn journal. Now, I grabbed some of my scraps, and I thought, what could I cut over here? Oh, I should have cut those pieces a little bit wider. Oh, here's a cool one. I really like this. So... Let's just, I should have ripped it. I don't know why I cut that. Oh, what was I thinking? Okay, anyway, we got a little snowman. Got a cute little truck. Use that in one. We've got trees and trucks and cool things here.
and we can just, you know, we can put that on there and we can add, like we could add a strip of like lace behind it. Not that strip. Okay, I've got scrappies. Let's get some scraps here. And hopefully I don't knock all of my lace onto the floor. Okay. And I did. It just jumped right out of there. I'm not kidding you. An entire basket of lace just hit the floor and a big one too. Oh my goodness. Well, I've been having some strange things happen around the house lately. I'm going to leave that in a pile on the floor because I'm not dealing with it right now. <laughs> Ah, alrighty. Let's see what we've got. See, I really like this sort of vintage lace. Now, this one I can't, of course. Um, and you can make your the corner however big or small you want. And then I want a little bit of this burgundy dark Merlot color. I don't know if that'll rip. Yeah, it did. I wasn't sure with the way I was cutting it if I was going to get it or not. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, that is super cute. Look at that. So get out your stuff and craft with me while we're doing while I'm doing this. This is one so easy. It takes like five minutes, like five. Um, I just ordered some red bows. I don't think I have any green bows or anything. I'd put a cream bow on there if I really wanted, or a bell, or I could put a piece of paper on there to decorate too. But I was thinking just a couple simple little bags to go into my two journals. Wasn't going to do anything too crazy. I did like that little truck. Where did it go? Now, this one's a little bit longer, but there's nothing wrong with that. I like that. And again, I love this lace. Oh, I have a red lace, but I think it's too bright. Yeah. It goes more like with this color, these colors, this brighter. This is um, a really vintage lace. I mean, vintage, this is a vintage um, fabric. I've used it a lot in the past. So do I want to do a couple of pieces of fabric with this? Maybe, huh? Hmm, I like this. I don't know if it'll look good with it, we'll see. I have tons and tons of Christmas fabric. Oh my gosh, it was hard for me to pick something to use, honestly. I normally would not do this to a piece of fabric. I feel so bad. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, no. That's a training, you know. You learn things a certain way and you're like, no, no, we can't do that. Oh, but I just did. Oh, but I just did. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, but I just did. My mother would probably roll over in a grave. Although she was very artsy craftsy in addition to being a, a professional seamstress. So I don't know. I guess she would probably be okay with it. I think she might be okay with it. I think she'd probably be like, well, what the heck? You know, let's try it. She was very creative. Dried flowers, too. She was. She loved to work with dried flowers and in the 70s and 80s. 70s, 60s and 70s. She worked with a lot of dried flowers. I feel like I wanted something up there. Oh, I could. It's kind of like a mini, for me, it reminds me of a mini um, fabric flip, you know? Oh, this might be too long. This physically hurts the fabric, by the way. <laughs> uh, if it had feelings, it'd be screaming at us right now. For real. <laughs> be like, ow, 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 what are you doing? Tears the fibers and the weave right open. Oof. That's nice. Now, um... When Rachel did hers, she used some glues and um, just to get like the pieces down to hold them in place. I don't really feel like I need to do that, but I think on this one I might because I want to use some staples. And then whatever Christmas tag I pop in there and I'm using the copper staples. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if you can see the copper. Yeah. I kind of put a bunch in. It's a little crooked, but, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We want it to be kind of, we want it to be organic, right? And, you know, we could, 
we could um, put a word up here. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Let's see, what do I have my Christmas? Where's my Christmas words? La, 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 la. Where's my Christmas words? Okay, your friend's gone berserk. <laughs> She's gone crazy. Okay, I've been working very hard on my blue journal. Um, I'm not done with it, so don't worry. I haven't finished it. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's right here, you guys. I don't know. I've done so much stuff, but look at the center of this one. I won't show you much more, but I don't know if you could see what I did there. Do you see what I did with the stickles? Can you see the sparkles? We've added the frame. I added the, the goodies. I've added jewels. Look at this. See it? Oh, that's the center of the book. But look at all the yummy laces. Oh, she's a pretty one. I am so excited about her. I work on her every day. Well, I couldn't work the last two days. I wasn't feeling well. I did some stickles, but that's it. So um, I have a chronic illness that has come out of remission and I'm in a cycle. So, you know, I'm not getting as much crafting as I would like. So it's kind of a bummer right now. Greetings. How about Mary? I mean, I'm in a good mood. I just don't have very much energy for very long. So my days are kind of short lately. I can do a little bit, but not a lot. Yeah, when my illness rears its ugly head. And I haven't had it this bad in a really long, long time. I'm pretty sure the grief over my son-in-law is what triggered it. I've been fighting with it for the last year and came up on the one-year anniversary. And so I think it just got to be too much for me. But that's okay. I'm all right. We're having a good time. I love being in here. This is my salvation. This is my happy place. This is my where I deal with stuff. And I tend not to want to do anything else when I'm feeling like this. So... This is what I will do when I can be up and moving around. And I love the word Mary. And I actually am going to stick it right between the two. Um, I think I'll use fabric tack. I could use my glue stick because this does work on fabric and it, and it makes it like cement. In fact, I feel like it works better on fabric than it does on paper. I mean, it works great on paper, but I feel like the fabric is on there for life when you do that. I'm going to hold that down for a minute. The heat from my hands dries the fabric tack helps dry it. Same with the glue stick. Look at that. Cute, right? I almost feel like he needs a word, but I don't want to overdo it. So, because I may wait to see what it goes into. If I want to put a bow there or nothing, I might put a little, little oh, snowflake, huh? Do I have cut out snowflakes or do I have any, like, what do I have that's a snowflake? I know I have charms. Suppose I could pin on a charm, right? A snowflake charm. But I might wait. I might wait. Okay, so those are going to go into our box. Now, I have, as you saw, this one got done. I have a bunch of journals I'm working on. Um, this is that fall journal that I'm working on. The um, Ladies of Autumn Rose. Help me with that. There we go. The Ladies of Autumn Rose. So I thought maybe I could do like a little, oh, I hate to, I hate to mess with this one too much. I got a hole there. What's the size of this? Can I do a journal with this again? I don't think I can. I don't think it's big enough. I don't think. That'd be the skinniest journal ever. Let's see, how big is that? Three inches by 12 three by 12 oof that's the only piece of that i have so you know what i don't think i want to i do want to but i don't think i want to <laughs> does that make sense i want to but i don't want to oh i wanted something to go with the journal i've got some little bits left over that are in there this is in there too this is another one that i don't have a lot left over Oh, oh, I have some over here. Oh, I can use that because I have this whole big thing right here. Yeah, see, they were, um, I got them at the at our, our uh, what do you call it? Come on, think. Our thrift shop. Our, um, for our hospital thrift shop. 
it support every sale goes to support the hospital and keep the doors open but it's not working all that well right now we're gonna lose our hospital it looks like okay so that is a skinny journal so that means i need the littler envelope is this the littlest yes because this one's a bigger envelope i think these are four by six yep four by six and i want to add some of this i'm not ripping it it has its own mess by itself right and i think we'll add a piece of that lace or some lace if not that lace a lace It's almost like a swatch and then you can add whatever you want to it after that yep I'm sure I'll have tags to, to I don't even know if I have room in the journal for this one if not I'm sure I could find a home for it I have to make sure hold on I'm gonna make sure I get them all on there so when I go staple it I catch everything I'm looking at this to see what the front and the back is. Now you can glue down if it's easier for you. Use a glue stick or fabric tack or whatever you got. The stapler can be awkward when you go to put it in the bag. Guys, I forgot to check what time I started. I don't know. I like both sides. This one could be either or. Oh, great. So I glued the bag together. Wonderful. Okay. So I wanted to do a couple of those. I know I'll do some more. I'm sure, you know, down the line, I will make some more, but I just wanted to show you, you know, again, you put your tag in there and see, you can see through the bag and we want to make tags to go with these. If we had a lot of extra time, I would, but I don't think we're going to have too much extra time today. We'll see. Depends what we make. I mean, we've made that and we've made that, and those would be gorgeous filled with tags. We will see. All right. So the other thing is, if you don't have any paper bags, I mean, any vellum, any glass scene bags, feel free to make your own, and you can do that with either. Tracing paper or vellum. Now, this is a piece of printed vellum. And I was thinking it would make a great bag. And I have to decide which way I want to go. See, that's going to be really big. If I go this way, I think it's going to be too skinny. Well, maybe not. Tall and skinny is not bad. That would be pretty in a journal, wouldn't it? All right, we'll do the tall skinny version. You convinced me, let's do the tall skinny version. And this is just a piece of printed vellum. I bought some vellum on Amazon that says for printers, printable vellum. They never have the same kind twice, so even if I told you what it was, I don't think you would find it. I always get different weights every time. It doesn't always give the weights. Kind of a pain. But you can see, now what you can do on this one is you just gently, like gently, pull it down a little bit, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do 
Now, I, I'm just going to use regular scissors, I think, to get this down. We want the back of it. Okay. And so what you're going to want to do, we should probably get it all glued together and then we'll teach you to do the top because we don't really want the bend. It was more just to get, get this piece out because you can see in this bag how it has the back piece and the front piece. So, you know, you want to just get a little... Now, we don't need all of this extra paper here. It's just kind of in the way. Well, this is how you make a vellum bag. All right. Now, you can take, because the vellum bags all have that little um, ruffled edge at the bottom, and you want it to look like the real thing, you can do that. Okay, so let's see, I like that side, or I like that side, I like that side. Okay. And I am just going to use um, my Heart glitter glue because it usually does not ripple this paper and so I'm gonna put it on both sides I have to glue your bag together like I just tried to do okay And just go on the edge, stay away from the middle or you close your bottom up to where you can't get anything in it. Okay, now. Remember guys, I don't do tutorials. I'm just making crafts with you. And there you have a pretty vellum bag. And then you could decorate this bag up or leave it as it is. I would probably put like a couple layers of lace with it. I think it would look really pretty. But there's a nice tall, and I'm really tall, bag for fun. Something fun to go into your journal. Got to make sure that's open all the way down so I can close it in the middle or at the end. So if you don't have a vellum bag, that's an option, okay? I think we're done with the glassine bag thing here for the moment. I'm going to put that aside. Let me pull these off my desk since I need this space. I have a lot on my desk because, you know, I'm working on the that blue journal. And, oh, I really had a tough time getting it cleared off enough to do this video. I had to throw everything on trays and just... Gonna, the best way to clean your silicone mat... Silicone? Silicone mat? Silicone? Silicone? Silicone. Everybody says it differently is I just have a, a damp, wet one. And that gets the gunk off. The little the little itty bitties are very, very difficult to get off there. And I just kicked my lace across the floor. Oh boy, I have a mess to clean up when I'm done. Remember that lace box fell on the floor? Ugh. Okay, we're a half hour in. So when this video's done, I'll be ready for lunch, yummy. Don't know what, I oh, it's brunch day. Okay, hopefully hubby's going to make me brunch today. We'll see. We will see. I think I'm, I don't know. I think I'm done with this box. I'm going to put this lace box away. On my cart next to me, I got, you guys, if you saw my video, you know, I have a lace cart sitting next to me, and she's a full girl. She's very fluffy right now. <laughs> All right, so something else I came across were these envelope pockets. Now, these, you, these are made, you can just make these from your Dollar Tree envelopes. Two envelopes. Get two envelopes. 
and these are coffee dyed. I actually bought these from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop because I wanted something vintage looking. I didn't want to use a white envelope, but if you don't mind a white envelope, it's fine. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna seal it up. You're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna punch out right there. This is gonna get you some pockets. It's a triple pocket, at least I think it is. And then you're gonna close up this envelope and you're gonna cut out a little notch at the top. Okay, so we've got little notches cut out. And these are our pockets. The next thing you wanna do is you're going to wanna close this. Now you have to ask yourself, do I wanna leave it open in the back or glue it down? So you'd have one, two, three, and four. So this could have a four pocket, four pocket envelope, right? I'll show you, we'll decorate in just a minute. And then our other one, so you can decide which one you wanna do, get yourself two more of the Dollar Tree envelopes, coffee dye them or leave them as is. And you're going to take one and you're going to close it up here and you're going to cut it open here. I know, crazy, right? Then you're gonna get another one, close it up. You're gonna open it across the top and put a divot in it. Like that one's open over there, right? And you're gonna stick one side here inside of that one and this gives you a little flap now you could close it here and here and leave it open as a pocket there and there and over here and I've added a little notch there so these all come from pink strawberries uh, she's doing some envelope series, so I thought, oh, perfect for Christmas, right? We could decorate these up, and how cute would these be for Christmas? Super easy envelope pockets. Great way to do that. The other thing I have on my desk before we go to that is, remember how I just made this vellum envelope? Well, I took some vintage paper, and I made a tall envelope, same way, only I just folded the whole thing down. And when I glue it all together... Again, it's something we can decorate up and use for our Christmas um, journals or whatever journal you want to use it on. I probably should have shown that one at the same time. So it'd be kind of repetitious if I do that one now, but um, I think I might make one to put in my journal. I'm just not sure if I want to make one of those for my Christmas journal, but you could just do paper if you don't want to do vellum. Oh yeah, see, look at this one. This is a tall tag. Oh, and it actually fits in there. Well, almost. But you can kind of still see through whatever you put in there. I definitely would want to make a taller tag for sure. I mean, thinner tag. So why don't we go ahead and just decorate these up? They're quick. They're easy. Um, let me see what I've got. I did not pull out any of my Christmas stuff. Can you believe it, you guys? What's wrong with me? <laughs> I know. I'm just tired. So let me... I don't feel like I have to decorate the whole entire thing. I think we can probably, um, let's see what I have in my scraps, right? I want to see if I can, if I can decorate using scraps or like, I don't know what, but I know one thing I do want to do for here. You're going to still see this when we're, we're going to put a little line of glue here, you know, to make that little pocket. But you're still going to kind of see in here, and you're going to see this, like, envelope. So you might want to cover that. So I was thinking maybe a little uh, Christmas paper might do it. Looking to see, what do I have? If I've got any that would... I could just cover like the whole envelope so when you go like this what you see but I don't like that color that's the problem it's not a color that I want to use well here's a piece of real music old yeah we could do that let me take that off my desk for a minute why don't we do this one first because this is a fun one I feel very discombobulated today. I don't know what's going on. Disjointed. Not in the groove. I haven't done a video in a few days, so that could be why. I want to just kind of lay this on here.
you won't see this much, but I like the coloring and I think that's what I'm after here. So, oh no, got it on there really crooked. Can I get it off? Yes, that's the good part about using the Fabri-Tac. I use the Fabri-Tac on vintage paper because I don't want it to line. Some of them leave lines. I mean, not all of them, but every now and then um, the glue, and it's not like a drawing line. It's like a dark line that comes through the paper, marks it. It's dark marks. Someone said, well, just, you know, smooth out the glue. No, it's that's not the problem. I could probably rip this. See, it's just falling apart. Oof. Boy, this paper is very old and very delicate. Ooh, oof. Okay. Oh, it's falling apart in my hands. Look at that. It's just falling apart. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Goodness. Yeah, it's just doing terrible there. Well, I did a bad job on that one. Okay, and I don't want to see. Well, I could see the music behind it. Might not be a bad idea. No, then you won't see the pocket all that well. Never mind. Don't mind me. You could leave it there or not. I'm going to un. get rid of it. Whoop, stay there. There we go. Okay. See all these little things? They don't roll off your mat like they would off of a table. They're hard to get off. Okay, so now we've got the inside done. We've still got our pockets. And the question is, do we want to glue? Like, do we want to glue it down as another pocket so you can have lots of places to put journal cards and whatever we've been making at the time? Okay, I did want to ink it. You know me, I'm an inker, so you don't have to. You absolutely do not have to, okay? Ignore that part, please. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down as a pocket in the back. If I don't like it, I don't have to use it. I can just stay there unused. Okay, don't get glue everywhere. I'm a hot mess today. Alrighty, let's get this on here. Okay, so what we're doing is I've left it open right there so that you could put like something back there and then something into the pocket, which I don't wanna do right now because it's drying. We'll let it dry for a minute. Now, I actually, before I did that, I'm going to pull that off because I had to decorate back here and I have to decide, do I want to put a big piece of um, Christmas paper or something like that on there? Let me see. What do I got? Boy, I'm just making a mess everywhere. Let me see. What do I have? Oh, this is pretty. I could go like that. Or I could go like that in the back. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me, I just want to get the size. I don't need it to go very far back. Let me get it there. This one's already backed. I hate to... Um... Boy, I really crunched up some of these papers, didn't I? Goodness gracious. What happened? These papers are specifically for this, you know, for, for just covering things and, and doing things, simple things like this, just grabbing it out. I like this because it says Christmas on it. Don't want to push it down too far. All right, let's. I am going to use this because I want to be able to move it around. And you can't do that with art glitter glue. Oh, that's going to close up the envelope.
kind of wanted the envelope to show a little bit on that back. I really didn't want to cover it all up. Mm. Oh, I'm going to rip it. I'm asking for trouble if I did it. Try not to open up your envelope if you can help it where it's not already open. Across the top, yes, it's open. There, it's not. That you don't need. I don't need all these scissors. This is crazy. Crazy town. All right, let's go like this. So how are you guys? What's new? Anything exciting? Are you guys all good? I hope so. What are you doing? Doing any Christmas? Are you guys doing Christmas yet? Or is it just me? Well, you have all these videos to go look at when you are ready. If you're going to do Christmas. If not, well, you've just had a bit of Christmas all year long, haven't you, with me? Because I've been doing this the whole year. Missed a few Mondays for whatever reason. But now I want to close this right here. And so I'm probably going to use something a bit stronger. I know there's a lid for this glue. What did I just do with it? You guys see it? Oh, there it is. Okay. See, now you have this. You can still see it's open. That's why I had us do that, because you're just going to put a line there for your pocket. That way it's pretty easy to get into your pocket. Okay, I am struggling with this. Sorry, guys. That paper is literally falling apart. It doesn't want to stick, and it's falling apart. That wasn't a good idea. Sometimes it's not a good idea to use these old antique papers. They are just not sturdy enough even to cover something. We just assume because they're going on a piece of paper, they're going to be okay, but I don't know. I'm not thinking so. And lately I noticed it's resisting the, the glues that we're using. I saw that on a couple of other videos too, that it just wasn't sticking and they're like, why is it not sticking? Plus I think the coffee dyed paper too, it gets resistant, you know? Let me redo this, I just unstuck it. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand there and, and get it to do its thing. And let me see if I, maybe I could use a sticker. Oh, you know what I'd love to use on these? I got these cute new, what did I do with them? I thought I put them off to the side to use. Where did I put them? Mm. Let me see if I can find them. Where did I? Did I take them off my desk? I probably did, knowing me. Where did I just put my little mice? that I had. I had these cute little mice I thought would be the Christmas mice. I mean, Christmas bunnies and mice. Christmas bunnies and Christmas mice. I thought they would be adorable on something like this. I wanna use these on a different project. So I don't know. Oh my God. They, oh my gosh. They are so cute. Let me get my scissors out because I didn't fussy. Excuse me. I didn't fussy. Okay. Here we go again. I've been drinking. No, I haven't. No, I'm not allowed to drink. I haven't been able to drink for a long time. I wish I would have drank when I could have. I was never a party girl. Never drank. We used to love to go wine tasting. I never really developed a taste for it. I just want to do a little bit better fussy cutting job than I did. They are, aren't they precious? Oh my goodness. Oh, and they are cute, 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 cute. Oh my gosh. Let me get some ink. They are vintage bunnies. 
all dressed up. This kit also has some little mice too. There's actually a journal to go with it and I'm thinking I'm going to be making a journal for my grandchildren. Make a little story. I'm gonna do a journal with a story for my little grandbabies, the youngest. I thought they would get a kick out of it. Now, you know those pieces I just did? I thought maybe, yeah, I could add a little. I purposely kept some of these ripped pieces. I can't even touch it without it falling apart. Oh my goodness, scary. Let me just put that down there. I just re-inked this pad. It should be juicy. I want it for color, really. Oh, this is just precious. Hoping that'll work. Please stick, please stick. Please stick. Okay. Please, please, please. Then we're going to set them right there. Because they have little bells and things in their hands. So I thought, well, that's kind of perfect with the music. It looks like it needs something behind it, but I'm not sure if I want to put anything else on there. Or we could put a little, like, tag or number or tab or something. I have to check my time. I don't want to go over an hour. Let's see if I could kind of like go off to one side, then I could put like a little label or a word or Christmas word or something over there. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's sweet. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. I love it. Oh my gosh. Too cute. Too cute. Oh my goodness. I want to put a little, I think I have a number over here. Nope, that's not it. Okay, where'd my numbers go? Who stole my numbers? Actually, we need like a three because there's three of them. Wouldn't that be cute? I don't know if I have a three in that. Let me see if I do. I have a four. Of course, it'll be everything but that. I've got two. Oh, there's a three. There's a three. There's a three. I've got a three. These are from Shabby Debbie Doodah. One of these days, like I keep saying, I'm going to get my books done. Ugh. I am project out for the year. I've got all my projects picked for the rest of the year. So, um, kind of glad I've been doing the Christmas all along because it's going to make it easier for me to finish my journals. Because like I said, I want to use these little guys. I, there's a beautiful um, kit that goes with them that I want to make for my grandchildren. I want to make them a journal. A Christmas journal to put their Christmas memories in or pictures or whatever their mom wants to save for them but there's going to be a story with it about the little bunnies and mice in it. I may type them up on my old typewriter. We'll see. It's a project so I don't know. I'm going to have to really budget my time if I really want to get it done. Oh isn't that cute? You guys talk about darling. Um they are darling. I have some little, like, definition, Christmas definitions. And there's one here because it's Mary. I think it's the one I want. Okay. And it would go right there. 
I don't know if that just blends too much. It kind of feels like it does. I do have green, green ones. Let me see if the green would be better. Or I could use a Christmas word. I don't know. I like it, but I may have to put some lace or something behind it. Oh, the green one's good. Oh, you guys, I got to sneeze. Hold on. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Nope. I was going for a third, but that's rare for me. Oh, goodness. Something came in the window. The window's wide open. It's beautiful, cool morning. I'm looking to see what I have here. We have cheer. It's pretty big, though. I like believe. Or there's joy. Now, joy is a good one. They look like joy to me. Or cheer. Let me see. Let me check my time. Well, that's cute. I could use that one. I'll clean up this mess later. If I take the time to do it now, we're never going to get this done. So, put that over there. These were these um, definitions come from a jewel design. Jolene at a jewel design created these. She did a good job with them. There's a lot of great Christmas words. I wanted to see if there was something. Yep, there is. Okay. I just wanted to put a little bit of lace back there for a little definition. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let me see what time we have. Oh, we're at 52. Okay, I've got a little bit of time just to finish this one. I just want to finish this one. This one's real important to me to finish. We're going to use our Fabri-Tac. And we're going to put quite a bit on the word to keep it on the lace, right? Stand up, please. Stand up, pay attention, and do your job. That's a little much on that end, so we're going to cut a bit of it off. There we go. There we are. Give us a little dimension and some texture. Oh, that is cute. You know what else I think would look adorable on there? I have some vintage stars. Pretty close to antique at this point. <laughs> Let me see. I think a star would be cute on there. Let me see if I can get some out. See, look, it even has this original 19 cent package. These have been in my stash forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I use them for Christmas decorations, usually. I was thinking maybe I could just put that up there. And I think I want another one on here, too, for these guys. Give it a little bling bling. Not much, just a little. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to glue. They still have their original stick them on the back, but I would be hesitant to lick that as old as it is. <laughs> oh no, don't go in there. Come back out. Come out, my little friend. Don't get in there. There we go. Technically, you're supposed to do threes, so looks better to the eye. Otherwise, the eye goes, stops, is confused by, by the lack of symmetry. Symmetry? So I was thinking maybe I'd just put that up there. Oh my gosh, cute, right? And then you can put whatever you want in the pockets, whatever you have that would be cute in there, tag or 
whatever. I'll have to make some cute tags to go in it when I get ready to put the journal together, I guess. So just made from a cute little envelope. Isn't that adorable? Hmm, my camera lens is dirty, I think. Seems kind of blurry. But there you are. Super cute. Super duper cute. It doesn't look great on that pink. But boy, if I pop that on a red or green piece of paper, it would be lovely, wouldn't it? I don't know if I have anything I can put it on so you can see it better. Oh, my studio is a hot mess, you guys. But it's not dirty. I mean, it's clean. Just lots of baskets everywhere for the projects I'm working on. So as soon as the baskets are empty, the studio will be clean, right? There you go. Look at that. Cute, huh? All right, now you can see it. Really cute. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Very happy with that. I don't have time to do a third one, but you know, just take your envelopes and get crazy. That's really fun. They really stand out when you do that. Yeah, don't they? Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it a video, guys. So we have a few little Merry Mondays today that we did. Nothing crazy, wild and crazy, but I think they were all quite cute. We got our Christmas ones, and we've got our, got our regulars, and then we got our little Christmas envelopes. And then, you know, this one, we would just decorate this page and decorate this and you can decide to glue it on and make it extra pockets or you can leave it open as a flap and put a plain piece of paper there writing space you could cover the back or leave it plain that's the same with this one if you if you're going to use this as a um, tuck in you might want to put something on the back you know if you just want to paper clip that in same with this one it would cover the back so there you have it guys i want to thank you for coming along and playing having a little little christmas play today and we're getting on that time of season where I'll be doing it full time. Well, I don't know if I will, guys, because I've been doing this. I may just keep on doing like I'll do Merry Monday a couple times a week, maybe twice a week or just work on putting the journals together on Monday. And then, you know, that'll be it for me. I'm not going to create anything new and exciting because I have two journals to do. Um, and I may only do the one. Uh, the other one, I don't know yet. I, I haven't decided. We'll see. Um, I can always keep the ephemera for the next year. It really doesn't matter. So. All right, you guys, have a marvelous Monday and a wonderful, wonderful week. I hope to be back on Wednesday. I'm not sure if I'll be back, hopefully, with a flip through of the Blue Journal, the Blue Autumn Fairy Tale. Hopefully, this is, I'm going to hopefully show it Wednesday or Friday, all done. Well, I haven't done the cover, so you know what? No, I won't. Maybe Friday. <laughs> but I may show you on Wednesday more progress or maybe we'll work on some pages together. I'm thinking maybe we could work on some pages together. I'm not really sure. So anyway, one day at a time, right? All right, you guys. Love you all. Hugs and kisses. See you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.